theme because we are using candles, candlestick holders, and adding a little bit of artistic flair, but also the comfiness and the coziness that you always get from candles, right? Absolutely, because any kind of firelight, like this beautiful fireplace from Hearth Manor, we're drawn to fire, whether it's electric, yes. whether it's a candlestick, whether it's a grouping of candles, we are very drawn to the warmth, and it just great, creates such a nice, warm, wonderful feel in any space. But also, candles and candlesticks have come a long way, mm -hmm. and I want to go through some of them. I want to start, first of all, about sort of the beautiful decor aspect. Um, a lot of candlesticks, when you start looking around at various shops, and all of this, this beautiful vignette is actually from LT, mm -hmm. and the, the candlesticks that are on the coffee table are a really great example of how artistic and how beautiful, and, and they yeah. almost become little mini sculptures on their own. They are. So doing them in groupings, now this is a grouping of six, but you can see too, I love to throw in some design tips, creating interest with, with similar types of products like these candlestick holders by using books. So that's why I've done an actual even number of them. There are six of them, but just creating the different heights makes it really interesting. Yeah. So these are really beautiful. Now, you, these also, and because of that, you can use them with a taper or without. Right. Now, part of what I want to talk to you about too today, Tracy, is the fact we're talking about candles. Mm -hmm. So these are tapers. And we were just saying too, this is the stuff that, you know, moms old used school. to have, very old school. And so the question is, remember we would buy these new candles. Do we do we light them or do we keep them white or do we actually burn them to yeah. make them look like they look proper? <laughs> right. Okay, so really the rule is do burn them. But this is what so you know, light them and then a little quick tip is when you want to blow them out, don't you know, because the wax is gonna go everywhere. Yeah. Take your finger and blow through it. Okay. So the the air from your mouth actually goes around it and it, it, it sort of oh. distinguishes it very easily, very nicely, and very cleanly. Okay. Now, when you finish burning a candle, you'll find that it'll have a nice black wick and it's very long. Always trim that down and also trim it before you light it. So trim it before and trim it after because after it won't smoke. Oh, okay. All right. So you really want to avoid that. So you're trimming off all of the all of the black okay, off the tip, just or a just little bit. The tip. Just give enough for you to be able to relight it. Okay. All right. Cool. So then let's talk. So again, beautiful grouping. Add a little punch of color with some flowers. So now let's talk about the fireplace. Yeah. So you can see before behind the wall. I just wanted to say this is shadow, the Benjamin Moore color of the year. It's beautiful. For next year, it's so it's dark and dramatic. It's wonderful. I love it. It's eggplanty. It's wonderful, mm. and it really works with the velvets and the black. So it makes a very dramatic room. Yeah. But the punctuation points that we've done on the coffee table, or pardon me, on the fireplace, yeah. is the mantle is white. And that really adds that real sharp contrast. So what I've done here is we've had a beautiful piece of sculpture. This could easily be a piece of art, a picture, or yeah. it could be a mirror. But how do you dress that? And of course, using candles and accessories. So we've mixed it, but it's all about balance. This is pretty mm -hmm. weighty. So I've also taken candle holders that are black with a little bit of the gold inset and done some big, strong pillar candles. Those are great. And I've not done a symmetrical arrangement because I could actually do a mirror image and do the same candlestick holders and, and pillars on the other side. Mm -hmm. Instead, I've decided to mix it, but you can see that, again, a design point, I found some common denominators. So I've used the gold and the black on the other side, but in a different way. Art, you know, a nice picture frame and yeah. a little collectible. So you can Sounds see that simple, works. simple, but a lot of us do need help with the styling elements, so thank you for that. I want to move on to these lucite. So you're Definitely. using the decor here. Exactly. Um, you're using the candles as decor. Well, bench, whether it's an end table or a bench, you can see that if you've used acrylic, you can also use like an acrylic, something with it in the same medium. So I've yeah. done acrylic. It's strong. It's interesting. It's graphic. You can use multiples. And a quick tip, when you're starting to burn a pillar candle for the first time, just simply burn it for 20 minutes and then blow it out and it'll set the pattern so it'll blow, it'll actually burn very cleanly. Oh. Now, another quick tip is when you okay, have good. it within a container, so yeah. a when it's actually in a glass container, when you burn that, let the entire surface melt, blow it out, and it will also burn cleanly to the bottom. Oh, instead of having that lopsided exactly. situation. So if we okay. move away from, let's talk, this is all crate and barrel, beautiful stuff, but we all know about the flameless, and you can see in yeah. here, they are so Ow! realistic. just joking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they so are battery operated. Exactly. These are great if you got pets and kids. Absolutely great, um, and, and for a hostess too, you don't have to worry about anybody burning anything down. Yeah. Went to a party once, they had a candle in the bathroom, Yes. it burned through the counter the oh, next day. No. It was a great party, by the way, I was there. Yes, so, it was. Know, super party. But Anytime there's fire is probably a good <laughs> it jam, was, it right? Was hot. Yeah. It was hot. So again, just to show, we've come a long way. See again, this is almost like a, an art piece. Yeah, that's pretty. You can do multiples of these, multiples of these, which are a little bit more linear, and even something like this. Again, multiples. Taper candles are coming back. Yes. Remember little tips. 
These will prevent you from having any little drips. And if you do get okay. a drip, yeah, they're little. Um, and, and yeah, you know, go ahead. Also, too, little sponges, which you even get them at the dollar store, makeup sponges. They will keep your candles from tipping. Oh, that's smart. So there's lots of really great tips. Remember beeswax, soy, um, yeah. even styrene, uh, which is a product that you can get that will allow, they won't, they won't melt in the sun. So those are the kinds of uh, really high, a little bit more high quality candles that you should be looking for. Yeah. Um, and if not, if you do get a cheaper one and it's starting to get a little bit of a spill, mm -hmm. it, let's say it's a tablecloth, mm -hmm. put paper towel, an iron, that puppy's going to be gone. Oh, it'll come right up. It will. It melts. Really good tips. I love right. that. Break time. Stay with us. We've got more okay. coming up. So you 